In the academic world, we're used to thinking of two kinds of domains. We think of the sort of hard domains and the sort of soft, fuzzy do domains. The hard domains are areas in which we're dealing with numbers, facts, dates, things that are hard and fast and that everybody can rely upon and agree upon. So that's, for, in, for instance, physics or chemistry or mathematics. And then the soft, fuzzy domain is the area of aesthetics or human interaction, which we can't always be sure of what's right and wrong. So they were talking about psychology, maybe art and music and literature, those sorts of things. Now, I'm applying for a position, as you know, of speech communication instructor at Corner Park Technical College. You're apt to think that that falls in the soft, fuzzy domain. But I'm going to demonstrate to you in the next few minutes that in reality, I have three things that you can really count on that show why you should hire me instead of the other candidates that you're going to consider. Those three things that I'm going to mention are quantity, quality, and personality. Let me talk first about quantity. I come to you with a great deal of experience as someone who observes and assesses and responds to public speeches. In fact, in, in the year since 2000, I've already assessed about 11,000 speeches by students, by members of corporations, by community members, and others. I, in the course of my career, I've made more than 30 conference presentations to professional groups. The topics have dealt with education, of course, with human relations, technology, international education, and certainly speech communication. I've edited two books. And I've written more than 30 professional publications in journals and magazines and newspapers, including the Journal of the American Association of Community Colleges. I hosted 55 sessions of an international intercultural television program on KLEW TV in Lewiston, Idaho, which is a CBS affiliate. Had a readership, pardon me, not a readership, but a viewership of about 180,000 people in Washington, Idaho, and Oregon. I can't claim that all 180,000 of them are watching my show, but it reached 180,000. And I've written more than 50 monthly articles for business journals, including the Wenatchee Business Journal, the Everett Business Journal, and the Lewiston Morning Tribune. Those are examples of quantity. Now let me talk about quality. The quality of my learning over the years is represented by the fact that I've lived in several parts of the world besides the United States. And at one point or another, I was able to either study or work in four languages other than English. Those were German, Dutch, Norwegian, and Korean. I've also had quality experiences in learning and being able to use Spanish, Japanese, a little bit of Arabic, and Chinese characters. As a faculty member, the quality of my work has been rated very highly. I refer you to Andrea Lebresco of Hofstra University, who's giving a speech to a student going into an honor society there, who said, quote, without logic, no one will be persuaded. Without magic, no one will care, Unquote. What she's saying is that in any endeavor, if you don't have a mixture of the factual and the sentimental or the emotional, then you're probably not going to be successful. George Vaughn and Jim Palmer wrote in their book in 1991, Enhancing Teaching and Administration Through Scholarship, that indeed these hard skills and soft skills are equally important in education. So those are some examples of quality. Let me move on now to personality. My motto since 1971 has been, the good is always the enemy of the better. What I mean by this is that when I start to feel satisfied that I've accomplished something, I try to avoid becoming complacent and satisfied, and instead I try to push myself harder so I can go to higher heights, and as a faculty member, this means trying to serve students better. I tend to be very positive and optimistic in my outlook. I'm patient. I tend to judge other people negatively only in the last, as a last resort. And when I think back to when I saw the Will Rogers Memorial on the slopes of Cheyenne Mountain in Colorado, high above the plains of eastern Colorado with the wind blowing and the beautiful sunshine and the clear skies there, I was struck by the insignia on Will Rogers' tomb, which said, I never met a man I didn't like. I try 
like to operate that way myself. What I'd like to convince you of, what I believe I've convinced you of, is that in reality there are these three reasons why you should hire me. And in fact, if you simply do the math, you'll see that quantity plus quality plus personality equals creativity. <laughs>